بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ہم یو آئی ہوپ یو آر انجوائنگ دی بیسٹ آف ہیلتھ آئی ویلکم یو ان مائی کلاس دیٹ از انگلش فار گریٹ ٹو وی آر لرننگ یونٹس ٹین اٹس ٹائٹل از اے لینڈ آف پیور مائی ڈیئر فیلو ٹیچرس دس لیسن پلان پاور پوائنٹ پرزنٹیشن اینڈ ورک شیٹ لنکس آر گیون یو می کلک اٹ ڈاؤن لوڈ اٹ فال اٹ ایز اٹ از اور ماڈیفائڈ فار یو کنوینئنس یس مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس yesterday we completed the reading today we'll do the comprehension of the text before this we have learnt about question words i hope you remember on page number 43 i have taught you what is the function of question words how do we recognize question how do we answer the these questions i hope you remember if not you may watch this video lecture again and uh, we have also learnt about rhyming words so today we are going to learn to comprehend and respond to question words for example what where when who why using pre and while reading strategies articulate and use simple rhyming words in writing these are our today's slo Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah Al-Mulk, verse 15. It is a he who made the earth a tame for you. So walk among its slopes and eat of his provision. And to him is a resurrection. Yes, my dear students. But what this beautiful verse is telling us, as I told you yesterday, this earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created. And one thing more, Allah... Subhanahu wa ta'ala, tame it. For whom? For us. Alhamdulillah. So we should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanahu wa ta'ala for this blessing. And better one thing more. To him is the resurrection. Because whatever the blessings Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us, will be answerable for all these blessings on the day of judgment. On the resurrection day. So we should be thankful and we should use all the blessings carefully it right? now my dear students yesterday we talked about the beautiful land a land of pure our beloved Kashmir we talked we learned about it and now you tell me what are question words I have taught you about question words what are rhyming words we have learned about rhyming words as well so pause the video answer these questions to your teacher and then come back Yes, my dear students, question words. These are the question words, who, what, where, why, when. And we have learned it, their uses as well. When do we use who? When we are asking about a person. What means we are asking about something. Where means a place. Why means a reason. And when means you have to tell the time while answering these questions, right? This is how... We analyze a question. If a question start, starts with a word who, it means we have to tell about a person. Who is he? Who is the founder of Pakistan? It means you, you have to tell the person. Okay, this is how we analyze a question. So we are going to analyze the questions of this unit and we'll answer accordingly. And what are rhyming words? Uh, this is how we use it. Who is crying? It means you have to tell about the person who is crying. This baby is crying. What did you buy? So what means the things you buy, the things you bought, tell about them. Where is my bag? Where? So you have to tell the place. Why is he happy? So you have to tell the reason. And when is your birthday? So you have to tell the date of your date of birth. This is how beta by analyzing the question words, we analyze the question and we answer accordingly. Right? Are you clear? Okay. So what we are going to do? Tisha will divide class in pairs and Tisha will tell them to ask each other questions regarding to their date of birth or their day. How was your day? What did you do? Etc. For example, when do you sleep? Who helps you in your study? Where do you live? Okay. So it can be typically, uh, typically their day or general question. 
So one who is asking the question will use the correct question word and the one who is answering the question will answer accordingly, right? And vice versa. Better you will interview each other and you will ask questions and tell answers accordingly. Okay, pause the video, enjoy this activity and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. Now you, you have analyzed questions correctly. Good job. Now we will apply this strategy to answer these questions. Okay, so when? It means it's a question of time and date. What? It means you have to answer it by telling the object. And what do you like again? So beta, you will read the text again. And from the text, you have to find out the answers. So teacher kindly give five minutes to every child. This is individual activity. Find out the answers. And when you are done with it, tell the answers to your teacher. Pause the video, enjoy the activity, and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. Now it's time for rhyming words. So what are rhyming words? Rhyming words sound alike. Okay, beta, this is important. We have learned about it. Sound alike. They have same ending sound and they are made by changing the beginning sound of the word. So, because they have same ending sound, that's why you can change the beginning sound to make rhyming words. For example, tall and wall. Now, you see, the ending sound is the same. And I have taught you it doesn't mean that ending the spellings are same. Sometimes it is spellings are different, but when we say we, when we pronounce the word because they have same ending sound, that's why they are called rhyming words. Tall wall, fate plate, they are rhyming words. Okay. Now all of you open your book on page number eighty and do this question number three. What you are supposed to do? circle the words and circle the words in each row that and with the same sound. Now you will go through this row. For example, phone, alone, narrow, clone. So what you will do, first you will really pronounce it and see the words which have same ending sound, you circle them because they are rhyming words. Okay, so pause the video, complete this task in your book and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with that? Good job. It's time for your homework. Now you will make one or two rhyming words from the words given in question three, page 80 in your book. Okay, this is your, uh, your homework and here is a worksheet. My dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide a printed budget to students for practice. So what we have learned today, we learned to comprehend why, where, what, when, and who. These all type of questions. And we learned to make rhyming words that and with the same sound. So we achieved our SLO to comprehend and respond to question words. What, where, when, who, why. Using pre and while leading strategies. And we learned to articulate and use simple rhyming words in writing. I'll be done with it. Yes, so that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.